Hello, sixth grade. Welcome to your first assignment for <clears throat> fake news. This is the fake news game board station. I wanted to show you how to do box three. It is a required box, so you must do it. This is the useful fact checking websites for students. As a growing trend in response to fake news, we are seeing more websites that exist to identify falsity. Here are two worth looking at to see if information is fake or real. Search each one for the information given next to it. First, we're going to go to fact check. There is a circulation on the internet that says Bernie Sanders said that the president said doesn't matter, go to work when talking to people about feeling sick. Is this what the president actually said? So you're going to have to go to fact check and you're going to have to do a search on fact check. So we're going to go ahead and click on this and go to fact check. Now you're not going to find it by scrolling. You have to come up here to the search button and your best way to find it would be, again, what are we looking for? We're looking for if Bernie Sanders said that the, if, Ber, if Bernie Sanders was correct when he said the president said, go, doesn't matter, go to work. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just select this part of it and I'm going to copy it and then come over here and I'm going to paste it in the search bar here. And then I'm going to hit enter. And it gives you all kinds of links to things. I'm going to go to this first one here because it is on, actually on fact check. Fact check is a website that just goes in and it checks the facts of things that people have said or the things that people have said that people have said. So it says Senator Bernie Sanders wrongly claimed President Donald Trump said if people have symptoms of the new coronavirus infection, doesn't matter, go to work. That's not what the president said. Trump was making the point that infections are likely to go unreported by many who may experience only mild symptoms, opt not to go to a doctor or then get better, including some who may continue to go to work as a re Result, Trump said the rare, the rate of deaths from COVID-19, the illness caused by the new coronavirus, may appear to be higher because of the unreported cases. Some may fault Trump for not immediately noting, as the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has, that people who experience symptoms are encouraged not to go to work. But Trump was not recommending that people with the coronavirus infections go to work. So. Fact check is saying that that is that this is false and it's not what the president said. So you can type here, no, this is not what the president said. There, I just gave you an answer to one of the required boxes. Okay, so the other website you're going to be looking at and I am not going to do this one for you, but I'm going to walk you through it. You're going to go to Snopes. Snopes is a really good um, website. It's one of the, it was one of the first for doing types of fact checking. And you're going to search for um, disease in every election year and see what Snopes says about it. So, of course, you're going to click on the link to take you to Snopes. And hopefully yours will pop. And Snopes has got a search bar right here at the top. And you can search for disease in every election year. That's exactly what you can type in here. And then you're going, you can either click here or you can hit your enter bar. And it'll take you and it'll show you what Snopes says about it. And then when you see what Snopes says about it, please do not copy and paste. Come over here and type your answer. So I have given you the answer to one. I still would like you to do it and go and see how it works, but you still have to do Snopes here. Your other required box is number two. 
and you need to answer the questions. Now, another thing that people seem to be forgetting, right here it says, when you've completed a task, drag a game piece into the box. So once you have finished, let's say we finished number three, you come up here, get a game piece, and drop it in this box, just like that. That is going to help me when I grade it to know where you did your work because you're not supposed to do all of the boxes. You must do two and three, but you have that's only two spaces. You have to do four spaces. So you after you do two and three, you get to pick the other two spaces you do. So make sure you've done four spaces. That's why there's four game pieces. And make sure you move your game piece after you've done it. I want you to make sure, too, when you're at reading the questions, that you're really thinking about what it says. This is another one people seem to misunderstand. You can fool some of the people all of the time and all of the people some of the time, but you cannot fool all of the people all of the time by Abraham Lincoln. When something smells fishy, you will usually find a fish. These are two sayings. They want to know, or the question is, is what it's asking you to do is to pick one of these sayings and explain what it has to do with fake news. If you look at this one, what does this have to do with fake news? What would it be telling us about fake news? How can you um, attach it to fake news? The same with this one. Now you only have to pick one or two. You don't have to do both of them, but you're explaining kind of what it means when it comes to fake news. So that is your first um, assignment in uh, the fake news learning stations. With your fake news learning stations, you do not have to do these in order. It's just the first one on the list. So have fun with this, learn a lot, and if you need help, let me know.